Hey guys, it's your girl Faye Nelson. I'm about to show you how I, Faye Nelson, cook my cassava leaf like we do in Liberia. Cassava leaves, one of the dishes we have there. So this is the cassava leaf you're looking at. So guys, it's important that you season your meat and steam it. Of course, I got a lot of water here and it's only because we need the water for the cassava leaf also. Steam your meat and season it well because you want your meat to taste good, all right? It's very important. After it's all seasoned up and steamed, you have to take it from in the soup and put it in something separate because now we're going to add our cassava leaf after we get all of that out. We're gonna bring the cassava leaf and put it in that same, you know, water or stew left behind from steaming up the meat. That's the cassava leaf. And by the way, you can get this from international grocery stores. They sell them blended like that, so you won't have to go through hell. You know, just put it in there, mix it up, and then we're going to add the blended peppers and onions that's all habanero peppers habanero peppers blended with uh, onions and stuff like that so I'm just gonna add that in there you know for the flavor there we go put that in there and of course after doing that, you will mix it and let it boil. But next thing is to get the natural peanut butter. This is all natural, which means it doesn't have a lot of preservatives and it doesn't have a lot of sugar. So what I did was I mixed my blender that had the pepper. I mixed a little bit of water in there and to just <laughs> get all my money's worth, you know. And then put it in the another blender, what I'm going to do now is to add half of that peanut butter, natural peanut butter to the water. I'm gonna add half of it to the water and then we're gonna take it to the blender and zoom it. Gonna have the blender mix it up so it's nice and creamy. Because you don't wanna have peanut butter lumps all in your cassava leaf. That's the importance of that. There you go, pour it into the cassava leaf after that you're gonna mix it and give it some time to cook you know after doing this it has to cook it has to cook to the point where you know the water dries out just about almost all the water has to be gone just about you gotta make sure it's not tasting raw the cassava leaf is not tasting like raw anymore and then you will bring your meat and stuff back but before we add the meat we have to add some red oil that's my red oil it's from palm palm nuts red oil comes from palm nuts they make them in africa and probably other parts of the world but this is some red oil right here and i started to add some but i just wanted to show it to you guys again you can find it at the international stores red palm oil that's what it's called so now you're gonna add the oil and just mix it up you know be careful when you're mixing it up depending what kind of ingredients you have because if you mix it too hard and you have some fish all the fish will break up tasting it to see if it's good to go because after adding all the meat if i'm not you know satisfied with the chicken bouillons with the bouillons that that's in the soup if i'm not satisfied with the salt then i'll have to add some yes yeah, just do all that that's bouillons right there it didn't have enough bouillon after i tasted it so after getting the meat there, I peel the bouillon and crush it and then add it to the soup. We call everything soup, the cassava leaf soup. Add it to that and then of course, you're gonna mix it and everything and let it cook some more, let it simmer. 
you know, simmering is almost like damn near turning turning the stove off. But let it cook. You want all that water to dry out some more because this is what it's gonna look like when it's ready. See that? It's ready. It's ready. It's good to go. Put some on some rice. Ooh, look at that. Let me taste it. Mmm. Look at that. It looks right. This is Casa, I believe, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Thanks for watching.